Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Gaming News on Clownfish Gaming. And the biggest gaming news this weekend is Pow World. Pow World has absolutely blown up over the weekend. They moved over 5 million copies. I am hearing it's on target to hit like 10 million copies by the end of this week. This is unprecedented. I mean, this is absolutely insane that this game that was derided as just being a Pokemon knockoff, uh, Pokemon with guns, uh, is, is doing as well as it is. And it's actually a pretty good game. I mean, is it the best game ever made? No, not really. But it's a lot better than most people thought it was going to be. It's under $30, and it's scratching that itch that uh, official Pokemon games have not been able to scratch with a lot of players. Last couple official Pokemon games have felt very phoned in. So we're going to talk about this, the astounding sales numbers of Pal World and what this could possibly mean going forward. Of course, there are a lot of detractors, a lot of them being Nintendo fans, Pokemon fans. There have been death threats sent to the developers. That's a whole nother thing. Uh, you know, they're telling them that they're going to get sued. Uh, you know, I don't think Nintendo really has grounds to sue. Uh, a lot of uh, false false allegations of, of uh, pocket pair using AI art. There hasn't been anything to back that up that I'm aware of, but other than the um, developer saying a couple of years ago that he was into generative AI, other than that, I don't think they're using AI. And if they are, does it matter? They're selling millions and millions and millions of copies. To put this in perspective, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus sold 6.5 million copies in seven days. All right, Pal World is probably going to beat that. Now, a couple things you got to consider. One, that was a Nintendo exclusive. Um, you know, so there's there's that. And Pal World is on, you know, Steam and Xbox. But uh, the fact that this indie title can basically out Pokemon Pokemon is insane. So, let's uh, let's talk about the numbers more guys. Please give us a sub. Uh, for more gameplay video, we actually did play the first couple hours of uh, Pal World on the channel. I know my son's been playing it like nonstop for three days now. A lot of people have been playing it nonstop the last three or four days now. Uh, this article is coming from IGN. Pal World has huge weekend, sells 5 million, and overtakes Cyberpunk 2077 in Steam's most played games list. Wow. Uh, yeah, Pal World's astonishing success swelled over the weekend with Pokemon with Guns, Survival, and Crafting Games shooting up Steam's most played games list and selling millions more copies. It launched on January 19th, which is like three days ago, uh, in early access form. In early access, it's not even done. The game's not even done, and it's doing so well. On Steam and on Xbox, uh, day and date with Game Pass, Pal World overtook Cyberpunk 2077 to set Steam's fifth highest peak concurrent player count with 1.291967 online. 1.2 million. All right, let's 1.2 million. Uh, 1,291,967 online at the same time on Valve's platform. Pal World is currently the most played game on Steam ahead of Counter-Strike 2, Dota 2, and PUBG. Yeah. Uh, this is this morning, Monday morning, Tom Warren has. There are almost 1.4 million people playing Pal World on Steam right now on a Monday morning. It's one of the top played games on Xbox right now, and there aren't even queues to play in Xbox Cloud Gaming. Smart move from Microsoft to get this in Game Pass. Yeah, they, they snagged it a week or two ago. I think they're like, yeah, this is going to be a big hit. This is going to be our Nintendo killer. But on a Monday morning, that's how many people are playing. I wonder how many people took off of work to play Pal World. There are a number of uh, Steam records that go along with this success. Pal World is now the most played Japanese developed game ever on Steam. Ahead of previous record, uh, record holder Elden Ring. And Pal World is the second most played paid game ever on Steam behind PUBG. Holy hell. Yeah, PUBG's uh, peak concurrent figure was 3.2 million, which was set before the Battle Royale went free to play. Meanwhile, Pocket Pair, the developer, said Pal World has sold over 5 million, 5 million units in three days, with 86,000 copies selling per hour. 
For context, Insomniac's Marvel's Spider-Man, that's a mouthful, sold 3.3 million copies in its first three days on sale. God of War sold 3.1 million in three days. Naughty Dog's The Last of Us 2 sold 4 million in the same time period. Pal World then has sold faster than the fastest selling first party PS4 exclusive ever in a three day sales window. And this despite its availability day one on Game Pass. Yeah, these are sales we're talking about. Well, Pal World is a smash hit. It's not without controversy. Yeah, they got to talk about that. Last week, IGN reported on how some Pokemon fans were taking the social media to point out striking similarities between Pal World's pals and the Pokemon themselves. The Xbox version continues to lag behind the Steam version in terms of key features and updates. And uh, the enormous launch has seen its server struggle too. Yeah, it's uh, this is one of the problems with massive overnight success, right? Uh, for sure. But that's awesome. I mean, I think it's awesome. I think, you know, my feeling uh, on Pal World is that it's going to force Nintendo and Game Freak to put out a much better Pokemon game. Like, much, much better. Like, the next Pokemon game, the next-gen Pokemon game, had better be a Pal World killer, for sure. Uh, that being said, if you're a Pokemon fan, do not send death threats to the developers of this game. Okay? Just stop it. Don't play it. If you don't want to play it, you don't have to play it. But do not send them death threats, please. Thank you. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.